taking a closer look at the folding silhouette front sight. I really dig this sight, but you know, it's it's a very expensive front sight slash gas block. So unless you really like the A2 style, the triangle looking style of the AR-15, it's really not necessary. I really like the look of it, but I also like the fact that you can put it down. And if you're running a scope, I'm running a red dot here, so it really doesn't matter. But if you're running a scope, sometimes you'll look through that scope and you'll see that front post looking at you. And I hate that. So I use this rifle in the AR-15 targets two gun matches. And so I put like a one to four on it. And I could, I put, I could see the front post, so I would fold it out of the way when I shot most of the stages for that. Plus, you know... For backup sights, you really don't need it. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not. My rifle doesn't keep me alive. So if my stuff breaks, I'm just gonna go back to the truck and get something else, or put it away and fix it later. <laughs> so it's really not that detrimental to me. But going back to the front sight, it's. I really like it. The front post is a little fat, so I, I'm thinking about putting a more narrow one in there. The the bolt-on pattern, I wish it was a little bit different because it bolts on from the side and clamps on, so you have to slide it over the end of the gun in order to get it on. Uh, Yankee Hill makes a few others, but they don't make this style right here. And there's clamp on. In this case right here, I have the 14 and a half inch, which is pinned, so I, this muzzle device cannot come off. And also, that means this, this thing is not gonna come off. My gas block is not ever gonna come off either. So if I decided to take this off and put it on another rifle, I can't do it. Not without a lot of work. But basically, if you had like an a Yankee Hill or something, the one that has the bolt pattern on the bottom, that clamps on style, a little bit different from this, you could remove it without having to remove anything else off your gun. But this one here, that's the only thing I really hate about it. That and the price. It's around $130, $150. But other than that, well, there's the arm silhouette.